All right, so I have been doing a ton of grinding inside this game, leveling up all of the brand new units. And one of the ones I've been leveling is the brand new secret unit. Now you can only get this unit during this event. So if you want this unit, go grind for it now because it isn't that bad actually. And if you want to know how to get it, I'll go ahead and explain it real quick. All you got to do is you have to go to the Max World Infinite, which currently is Hollow World. And you have to keep doing these until you get enough of the ancient hollows to spawn in. They're going to spawn in pretty randomly. You could do some that you just spawn in zero and some that you get like five to spawn in for the whole run. And once you go ahead and kill enough of those bosses, every single one is going to drop you a pod you can open in order to get these swords alongside a bunch of other random items too, occasionally. There's even just a chance to get the unit itself, but once you get a total of 100 of these shards, head over to this NPC right here next to the summon area. Go through the talking and you want to um, open up the shop where you'll be able to either buy the itchy or a soul orb for 100 of those shards. Now, I would recommend if you are able to, to go for the soul orb, but only after you get the brand new mythical unit, which is going to go away pretty soon, which is the Kasuki right here. I'm probably saying the name wrong, but this unit is also limited time as you can see. You can only get this unit for this event, so try to get it as soon as possible because it's going to go away and probably like a little bit over a week. But that is how you get this new unit. So if you want to go for the unit, go to this NPC and buy it for 100 shards. You can also randomly open it up, which is really cool. Like I managed to do right here. Let's see, where's it? Okay, one soul star, chance to contain exclusive units. Okay, let's see if we get lucky. Imagine we get the unit like right away. And oh my gosh, we did! That was a joke! That was a joke! That was a... I made a joke! That is not what I wanted to have. What in the world? We got the full... We got it already. That was the first star! Are you kidding me? That was a joke! Oh my gosh, that was amazing though. That I managed to open that right away. I'm so glad I did. So I didn't have to grind for it. But this unit isn't that bad. The stats aren't that bad. 296 damage, 5.8 cooldown, 19.1 range. That is pretty good. It's cheaper than a Dio. And it's the cheapest secret in the game right now. Fire Fist and Renzi are both more expensive by quite a bit too. Oh my gosh. Fire Fist is stupidly expensive for some reason. Let's also equip the boost unit. So that way we can make it a little bit more powerful to see what the max stats are. And I'm guessing, yeah, that should be it. Go and have a carry unit just in case. But let's go into a, I'm guessing, Planet Nomic Infinite. And let's see how strong this unit can get. I, I actually have not tested this out yet. Okay, that should be enough money for now. But look at that range on the unit by default. That is really good for a legendary tier unit. At least that's what I'm thinking it's going to be. I, I, it's definitely not mythical, but it's probably a legendary tier unit. So let's go and let's place it down. Let's start doing some upgrades. But the first upgrade takes us to almost 500 damage. That is not that bad. Okay, let's keep going. So this one takes us up to 600. The range is a little farther too, and cooldown gets shorter. And then here we go, our first special ability. And we also gain quite a bit of damage, up to 800. And the attack speed is really quick too. This is actually a really nice unit. And we also gain a little bit more range. And let's see, what's a new attack now? It turns into a line AoE. That's really cool. I like that. Oh, that is a really cool attack. It's like the normal one is like a slash with a small circle AoE, as you can see. Very small circle AoE. And this one is a huge line. That is awesome. So it's basically like a weaker coyote. That's kind of cool. But let's go. Let's do the next upgrade, which takes us up to almost 1.2k and a little bit more range. The next one takes us up another 600 damage. Oh, wow. That's a pretty big increase with a little bit more range, of course. 2.3k, another 600 damage and a little bit more range. Uh, what's this? Oh, that's a lot. Okay, 3.5k goes up by another 1.2k. That's awesome. And yep, that's max level. There we go. So that's the max stats of the Itchy. That really isn't that bad. Look at that. 3.5, 5 second cooldown. That was really good. And I'm pretty sure, how many can we have these can we have? 3, 4, 5? We can have 5 of them. That is a really good unit. Oh my gosh. So if I go ahead and max all of these out, look at that. Oh, that is so cool. Let's get, them all, let's get them all maxed. Look at that. Oh, that is awesome. In fact, I'm going to sell the coyote. He, he's not needed anymore. These are so good. 
Now, I will say, I didn't play around at all with the second secret to add to the game, but I did play around with Fire Fist a lot, and I will say this unit is way better. First of all, the range is really nice, the damage is really good, but also the price is really cheap to max out. Like, I haven't spent that much money to max out three of them so far. Plus, lots of upgrades into the fourth and fifth. This is a really nice unit. And you do have to admit that the attack is really cool too. I like the attack a lot. Of course, the price part could be the fact that I'm in an infinite, um, but either way, it's still really good. And it also appears the emote hit also, so that's really good for shields. But let's see, let's let's add the boost to it. So we have our 10% um, boost, which takes the damage up to, how much damage is that? 3.9K, that's not bad. And let's also go ahead and let's do an Erwin boost and let's see how much it goes up with one Erwin. Let's see. 4.8K, okay, that's really good. This is definitely a very good secret. I'm actually kind of surprised how strong it is. All right, wave 50, and these guys are still holding up. They're, they've been killing everything at the start. I do know that it's like the first um, infinite, so it doesn't really matter, but either way, it's not too bad. Also, let's see how well does it do against the boss. Not that bad. The boss is going down really quickly. All right, yep, there we go. The boss went down, and I can definitely agree that these are not that bad. I definitely can say that I wouldn't go for this unit. Definitely not right away. If you do open it on your own, that's really good. But I would 100% go for the Soul Orb first that evolve the limited time mythic. Because that unit is just so much better. Also, yet again, just to say that I'm comparing the brand new secret to legendaries, not mythicals. Compared to legendaries, it's very good, but compared to most of the mythicals, it does not compete with any of these, sadly.